Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com along with Nick who's ripping open the box right now. Did, we, did I get the right case? Yeah. Nice. All right, so there you go. It's 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. 12 box, pick your team 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're giving away a box as well. Usually we do this randomizer at the end, but we just want to give Nick a little head start right there to help us open packs, so we're going to do that right now. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. We really appreciate it. Let's sort your names. Let's actually make this a tiny bit bigger. Let's sort your names by your first names. So if you bought at least two spots, two teams, you'll get one entry, right? Four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, so on and so forth for a chance at a sealed box of Series 1 hockey, which will, I think comes from a different case and will be shipped to you sealed. You can do whatever you want with it. If you win it, you can sell it if you want to. You can open it if you want to. You know, whatever you want. So Daisuke, you got two teams, one entry. T is asking, how do I do this? I'm assuming you're talking about group breaks. If you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, scroll down to the bottom left-hand corner, there's a frequently asked questions section, and which is, and you can read that, and I'll tell you exactly how to do this. Jeremy Merle got four teams. That's two entries. Joseph Falsetti with four teams. That's two entries for a free sealed box. Four teams, two entries for Josh Pruce. Karen got two teams. That's an entry. Matt Buckler got two teams. That's an entry. Mike Grzynski got four teams. That's two entries, including the last two teams. So additional entry for you. Palmer didn't get two. Rick didn't get two. Spiro got four teams. That's two entries. So there you go. Basically buy an odd number of teams and then half of that become entries. All right, so I think I got everything. Spiro, Mike, Mike and Matt. Spiro, Mike and Matt. Karen, Josh, Joseph, Jeremy, and Daisuke. Okay. All right, so let's copy all those names there. Put them into this list right here. There you go. Name on top gets a box. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a one six times. One, two, three, four, five. And good luck. Sixth and final time. After six, it's Daisuke Fujiwara on top. Right there. After six, you will get a sealed box going your way. Uh, I have to eventually write this down somewhere. So let's pick your team number three. All right, there you go. Congrats. We'll set this aside here, and you'll you'll attach that to the box. Also, we had three teams remaining. And I said, hey, if you if you buy one of the, one of the three teams right here, we'll give you a pack of these each. So Canadians, Sharks, Flyers, get a pack each. Thank you for grabbing those. Here's the final printout right here. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. NASA launches a satellite to monitor sea levels. It's going to be like, it's up. I can tell you this right now, NASA. Elevated. Okay, I guess that other stuff is pretty good. All right. So we'll breeze through these. Remember, it's really these young guns cards we're chasing. A lot of these are just vet commons. Obviously, inserts like this will ship, numbered cards ship, relics, autographs, so on and so forth. Yeah, Kyle, this is, I feel like uh, there are members of our shipping team avoiding sorting uh, breaks one and two. <laughs> yeah, this is going to require some work. It's going to take a couple extra days. Anything like when Bowman Draft comes along too in December, breaks like this, just give us an extra day or two to to tackle this stuff. I think people understand that. I hope they do. Igor Zamula, it's not like Obsidian or something like that where it's gonna go out the next day. 
Oh, sorry. So Flyers, uh, Igor Zamula, that'll be for Mike Krasinski, who got Philadelphia. It's one of his last spot mojo teams. And Nicholas Bodine for Chicago, that will be for uh, Rick Thomas. Josh Wall for the Maple Leaves. Young Guns, go, or Josh, Joseph Wall, going to Palmer Parker. Palmer with that one. I don't know if these guys are any good or not. So, hockey fans, let me know if these... There's a Vander Kane canvas. So obviously these are considered inserts, so these will ship. <laughs> like the 80s sort of portrait design there. We got Upper Deck Game Jersey, Oliver Ekman Larson for the Coyotes. That'll be for Spiro and the Coyotes. There's Timothy Liljurgen, Young Guns. That'll be for the Maple Leaves. Another one for Palmer. Jake Evans, Young Guns, Canadiens, Montreal, going to Mike Grzynski. Montreal. Those, uh, the Young Guns cards, there's a Jack Hughes canvas. The Young Guns cards that are in French, I think fall about a few per case. There's Patrick Kane at Dazzlers. And sometimes you'll get numbered cards. The numbers will be right up right up on the front. And we'll randomize those cards right there too, left and right randomizers. There's a Dominic Kubelik for the Chicago Blackhawks showing off his, his footy skills right there. Brie Larson trying to sell me on a Nissan? There's Connor Ingram for Nashville Young Guns. That'll be Mike Rizinski. Yeah, it doesn't move the needle for me. Sorry, Breed. I love these worldwide die cuts. These are pretty sharp. Uh, oh, Turbine plays for, there it is right there, Carolina. That'll be for Mike. She's also the worst superhero. You think she's the worst? Captain Marvel? Yeah, like, what are her powers? Just everything? It's kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... I know, I was, I was actually watching some of those Marvel pictures the other day, and I was just like, so... She just shows up whenever she wants to? And exactly. Like, at the... Did you, are you, were you watching Endgame? Yeah, I was watching yeah, that. She just, and Captain like Marvel. Thanos is about to just... Thrash everybody. Take over the entire universe. It's over... Dead, everybody dead, Iron Man dead. Yeah. Captain Marvel just comes out. Why didn't she come out 30 minutes earlier? <laughs> I know. We're, but I think I think there was like, I was thinking this too, I think there was like one, there was like one, uh, one line in the movie where she says, listen, there's millions of universes with the same yeah. problem. And they're like, all right. Okay, yeah, and it's yeah, right. like, all right, all right. All right, Captain Marvel. Well, what about Earth? <laughs> what about us? You don't at least have like a little more. Well, Thanos isn't destroying the other universes. He's destroying this one. I mean, he did cancel half the the lives on other universes too. Yeah, but he's on Earth right now. He right, 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 and then right, can, up right, 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 right. Exactly, else. exactly. That. So her logic was flawed. Was flawed. Yeah. Go to the source of all this. And like I said, nobody horror. really like her. Her superpowers are flying and fire and. Yeah, I mean, well, she got she got blasted by the tesseract, right? And so that that Im that gave her power in her glowing fist. Never fists. watched Captain Marvel. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. I tried to watch it. It's just kind of. Bad. It's not bad. Once you start working through the, after the beginning, it picks up. There's a little bit of a twist at the. Did you watch the whole thing? No. There's a, there's a twist. There's Connor McMichael, Young Guns. I I. 
can guess the twist of that either. What What do you think the twist is? That That one guy she likes ends up being evil. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, it's a Marvel movie. It's yeah, really yeah. <laughs> I watched it for twenty minutes, and, and you and, and you were just like, "Yep, Jude Law is going to be a bad yeah. guy at the end." Nick Laplante, what's going on? Oh, you saw? Well, you saw my hands on TMZ. Although they posted the video, so I guess you heard me too. There's Connor. Connor McMichael goes to the Caps. That'll be for Josh and, and the your, Emil Larmy. And they put your name in though. Oh, yeah, my last name not in there though. They didn't follow up with that. <laughs> I don't trust. You just go by one name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just go by one name. I'm like Pele. <laughs> and they just write Joe and TMZ. Everyone knows what that means. It means me. Share. Yeah, exactly. Madonna. Yeah. Seal. Mm hmm Neymar. Mm hmm Oscar. Kobe. Kobe doesn't go by one. No, he doesn't. But you could just say Kobe. You could just say Kobe. And you know who he is. Piece of the jersey for the cast, I believe for Josh. Kobe Ashi. Probably not. Another figure team of this. Maybe next week, possibly. All right. That's the, this is going to be a left-right randomizer, but obviously those are both Rangers, and this one has Alex Lafreniere on it. He's the number one. Alexis Lafreniere on it will be the number one overall pick for the Rangers. That goes to Josh Proust, picked up the Rangers. There you go, Josh. Thanos goes by one name. Sorry if I spoiled Captain Marvel for others. That movie's three years old. No. I mean, I don't know. It just got on Disney Plus, I think, recently. I actually saw the uh, movie being filmed, also. What? El Segundo. I was eating, and then I walked outside, and then a bunch of these. There's a car chase, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. They had to have, like, a bunch of 80s cars. Right. Gotcha. Um, they're, they also, it was supposed to be set in the 90s, right? There's Liam Foudy for the Blue Jackets, Daisuke with that. Uh, there were, um, there was no train system. They had the big car train That's chase. exactly El Segundo had, yeah. Oh, and there's Thomas Hurdle. El Segundo has that train system, so that's where it's, um, what do you mean though? That train system didn't exist. I don't think there was a train system in, in, in the 90s. Yeah. You're saying a uh, movie with a superpower is not super accurate. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. Thomas Hurdle, Dazzlers. And Canvas, Jonathan Quick for the Kings. That'll be for Spiro. Watch both Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't think I watched the second one. What was the second one about? The second one was good. Um. Give me like a basic. It's uh, Russell, Kurt Russell, I think. Is it? No, yeah, I didn't see it because I don't. I don't remember Baby Groot. No, um, Baby Groot's in it, but Kurt Russell is uh, Chris Pratt's dad. That's the. Oh, I definitely uh, don't remember. Yeah. That's the. Sort of the twist, the Star Wars kind of twist. Not a twist, but like he, I don't know, something happens and then blah blah blah. Kurt Russell's, I think, the actor. I'm thinking of. All right, TP, how much does a whole case run? I don't know, a lot. Series one's pretty popular. I don't know. I think CardboardConnection.com may have a box price on there and just times it by 12, and there's, there's the case. Although that's not necessarily what we got it for. They tend to just publish the, the cheapest price they could find on the market. But that's, that'll give you an idea. I don't know. Like 12, 12? 130 times 12, whatever that Yeah, is. 130 times 12. There you go. I was going to say, it's like a $1,200 case, $1,300 case around there. $1,500? 130 times 10, 12. There's Morgan Geeky, Geeky, Hurricanes, Carolina. That'll be for Mike. Do you still have personal box available this on... Mm -hmm. If you guys want a personal box, I don't know if we're going to get another case for Pick Your Teams until next week. But if uh, if you want to do a also giving away a Mike personal box. Whoa. So there, there's things going on. Because this, this break's going to take a while, as you can see. 
Um, but if you go to uh, Instagram Live at Jaspie's Breaks, then you'll see uh, you'll see Teddy Jaspie there. There's a canvas young guns. That's pretty cool. That's Morgan again for Carolina. That's going to be for Mike Grzynski. We'll have the, all those top loaded before they go out, of course. No, but if you watch Endgame, you saw that um, Thor is basically now in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. So. So Guardians of the Galaxy three should feature him. Okay. Um. I like I like Thor, uh, Chris Hemsworth. The new Thor movies also have that director Wakiti. Famous. Hmm. His movie, his Thor. Philip movie is pretty good. Kurashev. I think I've seen all of the. Th- I don't think I saw the one with Natalie Portman. There's Alexander. Those are like Alex K. Early early ones, right? Oh, this is the French one right here. This is the Yunz Loops. I guess it's Young Guns in French. Uh, that'll be for the Capitals. That's going to go to Josh Proust. Actually, these are only like one or three per case. Let me just top load these right away. One to three, maybe. At least one, usually. There's our first serial numbered card right here. That's Jordan Eberly to 100. 67 out of 100 for the Islanders. That's going to go to Spiro. Should Kelly Daniels From UCLA, yeah. Benjamin Harbaugh. Harbaugh, definitely, right? Yeah. There's Igor Kors. Horse shot for the Maple Leaves. I'd rather score zero than three on games like that. Alabama beat Kentucky sixty-three to three. Why is that even on the schedule? There's Dylan Strome. Remember when that thing fell over? The sooner, the yeah. sooner schooner. That was actually bad. It was. <laughs> I think it like had some injuries. I think you think there were some injuries. Horse injury. Maybe. But they they they. Oh, was it a horse? Oh. Callie, what's going on? That goes to the black jersey. Goes to the Blackhawks. Rick Thomas. Uh, animals are treated like royalty or treated poorly. <laughs> That's a good question. You would. Th- I think they are treated like royalty. Like that horse is probably part of the like the horse depart the veterinary department at Oklahoma. Right, but are those horses like built to carry like that kind of Yeah, thing? they're horses. They've been doing it since Yeah, but horses like Oklahoma settled. Like, supposed to ride them. Like that, those might be pulling horses. There's Vitaly craft stuff. Like Young those, Guns, Rangers. Those horses are pulling the thing like like in like Django on chain. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they're, I think they're that kind of those kind of horses. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't pl- they wouldn't have trotting horses, gallop, right? There's Sebastian Ajo, no Carolina. Idea. I don't know anything about and horses. And like the Bevo in Texas, the cow. Yeah. That, Josh Norris. The, the Georgia Bulldog. I think yeah. Remember when the remember when that cow almost ran over the Georgia Bulldog? That's what I'm saying. Like there's things that, that happen. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I think the horse in Denver for the Denver Broncos is treated really well. It's Josh Norris for Ottawa. I think. Yeah, NFL. I think that horse is like from NFL, like a local yeah, ranch, yeah. and they and they they like, and they they just like live, I don't know, in a stable in a really like nice land. College, you have like drunk college kids like. Yeah, poking at the, the animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Something. I don't know. We should check. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Pete is on top of that. We should, we should ask them. Braden Point for the Lightning, Tampa Bay, Matt Buckler. But I, I could also see in them like having like the best lives in the world can have. I'll bet. I'll bet the Georgia Bulldog is like living in wherever they do the Masters. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like, just, that Georgia Bulldog just owns Augusta. <laughs> Augusta. I bet it's like the lower level schools that. There's Quinn um, Hughes. Right, with a poorly treated eagle. Yeah, or like a... Wildcat. Yeah. A cougar in a small cage. Quinn Hughes. Uh, Vancouver. No, he's pretty good, right? Quinn Hughes. Vancouver. Jeremy Merle with that upper deck canvas. Thanks, Callie. Yeah, that that TMZ article was a lot of fun. Hey, if you're watching right now and you want to read all about the LeBron James one-of-one, 
Jaspie's mentioned in the same breath as uh, as Rob Kardashian, I think, was in the bottom of that article. So we're pretty much Kardashians. There's Alexander Truet, Sharks, or True. Oh, that article is what you got you here. All right, welcome. Here's the next box. This canvas. Oh, yeah, if you're new here, folks, thanks for joining us. Subscribe if you want to. Register for the website to get email updates. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We do personal boxes on Instagram Live at Jaspies Breaks. So these are all group breaks. People people buy a share in, over a case or a box and then we rip it open. On the personal side of things, you're just buying the full box itself, which could be a lot more expensive, but you get everything. So at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks on Twitter. Yeah, I think we'll get a, some, a nice little bit of uh, publicity from that, which will be nice. Nicholas Bodine, Young Guns. When did we pull that McDavid? Was that a year? December. Like, last year? Yeah. So like once a year we'll just pull a $100,000 card? Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's Mark Stone, Dazzlers. Last year, though, we had two like crazy ones. Like We had the Luminaries booklet. Right, the 50... Still time to pull another another monster, ladies and gentlemen. Nicholas Bodine for the Chicago Blackhawks. That'll be for Rick T. For Thomas with that. Evander Kane, Upper Deck Canvas. We've got Artem. Zagi Dulin, Young Guns. Wait, so what's happening with, with Marvel, the next phase of Marvel? Um, I think the first one is going to be um, a Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow. Oh, um, right, prequel. right. And then I think there's another Thor coming out. Um, so are we done with Iron Men's? Well, yeah, he's dead. Oh, right. Well, I mean, they're, oh, until they revive him in like, in like phase 12, right? They'll be like, hey. Well, I guess they could do a prequel, but he's just going to get older, so. I think they're done with Iron Man. <coughs> at so least, at least for like the next. Somebody new to play them, Yeah, they'll they'll reboot it at some point, right? Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the spoilers. It's, I think it's been long enough too. I mean, when did Endgame come out? Um, the beginning of last year. Right. It's almost so that's enough time. There's Gabe Velarde, uh, Young Guns. He had a great debut for the King Spiro with that one. And then a new Spider-Man. All right, so it's basically going to be carried by Spider-Man, Thor, Thor Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy, Black Widow, maybe a couple new characters. Oh, yeah, she also died. Like, what, who did? Yeah, in Endgame. Oh, Jeremy Renner throws something. He doesn't throw her off. He didn't throw her. Um, there's Morgan again, Carolina. That'll be for Mike. Ant -Man. Captain America. I think there'll be another one of those. Well, no, Braden Point. Kind of Did it really? It's really old. Oh right, right, right. Oh man, I'm missing. So, so, so all those characters are. So it's just Spider-Man and, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. Thor. Right. All right. Ant-Man and. I, that's probably my least favorite. And that girl, and that girl from Lost. Yeah. Wow. Connor McMichael. I didn't. What's she been doing this entire time? I feel like. Uh, She's in Ant Man and Wasp, I guess. In Ant Man. Brain Point, Tampa Bay. Yeah, I was like watching that the other night, and I was like, hey, I think I know this lady. I don't think any of those Lost actors really have done well since. I don't think so either. We can say that for most big TV shows. Oh, that that the that Korean American dude got Hawaii Five O. Oh yeah, with long I, hair. Yeah, I think that. I think that was on for like five seasons or something like that. It might still be on. Yeah. 
No, yeah, maybe not. Tyler Benson, Young Guns, going to uh, Edmonton. That'll be for Khalil. J.J. Abrams went on to do Star Wars in Star Trek. This is Mike Giordano, Calgary Flames. There's Victor Soderson for Arizona Coyotes. That'll be for Spiro. And that'll be for Joseph. The upper deck canvas. And Oklahoma's scoring already. There's Gustav Lindstrom, Young Guns. And Jonathan Bernier, Canvas, Detroit. That'll be for Josh Pruce. Young Guns, Kirill Ustimenko. Flyers, Mike Krasinski with that one. Oh, and uh, Nick Suzuki, Acetate. Nice, for Montreal, that's another last spot mojo team. That's Mike Krasinski. I think this is maybe one per case? Not too, not too common. I don't think there's a traditional case hit per se in this but I think those generally fall about one or two per case no highest career earning actor highest career earning actor Tom Cruise Samuel really I think so yeah wow it's Peyton Krebs of all time of all time I thought it would be Cruise there's Elias Patterson canvas He's a bit rough, I guess. Samuel Jackson is a force. Uh, trivia, the, who's who's the Spider-Man suit lady voice? What do you mean suit lady? You know the, the suit lady? Iron Man, you mean? No, the, the lady inside the suit of Spider Spider-Man suit in Spider-Man, the one with the the one with where Michael Keaton plays Birdman, the Vulture guy. And he's trapped in that big facility underneath. And he's like, hey, suit lady. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? No, Tom Holland's Spider-Man. You don't remember that? There's like the voice inside the suit that talks to... Who is it? It's Jennifer Connelly. Who's that? Jason. I don't know who Jennifer Connelly is. She's... She's pretty dreamy. Jason Robertson. Young Guns. She was uh, Russell Crowe's wife in A Beautiful Mind. Okay. There's Pavel Bukanovich. She was also in a dark indie flick called... Uh, what was it called? It's not a, not a family-friendly movie. Don't watch it if you're a kid. Or don't tell your parents that I told you about it. That's Jennifer Connelly. I've seen her. Like she hasn't really aged since she was like a kid. She's been acting since she was ten or something like that. Oh, she's in the TV oh, show Snowpiercer. Right. And she, Requiem for a Dream was what it was in the early two thousands. Dark, dark movie. Oh, nice. Thanks, Nick. So there's all the boxes right there on the table. So that saves me us a little bit of time of, pack, of ripping open packs, and we can just kind of slide through all these cards. Obviously, inserts like this will ship. I got one, two, and three right here. Remember when Jennifer Kahn was also in the... You guys remember the Rocketeer? There's Nick Suzuki, Canadians. 
That's a family friendly movie. I wonder if that holds up. Disney Plus? Nick Suzuki for the Canadiens. It's another one for Mike Grzynski. Got that acetate card too. Oh, there's another one. There's Mika Zib uh, Zibaneyad. I'm going to go with that. For the Rangers, that's going to be for Josh Proust. Young Guns, uh, Bowen, Byram for Colorado. That's going to be for Karen and the Avs. Shane Bowers, Young Guns, also for Colorado. We've got Oklahoma State, Oklahoma on the background. Tyler Seguin, Canvas for the Dallas Stars. It's going to be for Daisuke. We got Jonas Johansson for the Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo! And Dylan Coglin for the Vegas Golden Knights. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. Joseph with the Buffalo Sabres gets that Young Guns card. We got Zach Wierenski, Blue Jackets canvas, going to Daisuke. There's Jake Odinger for Dallas. That's that'll be for Daisuke as well. There's Elias Peterson, Dazzlers. I like these canvas cards here. Brent Burns are always doing something a little different in each one of these. Some guys are playing soccer, some guys are doing that. These are pretty cool. Josh. Josh, we, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got half the case to go. Plenty of time. No need to no need to worry about that just yet. Maybe right around here. Maybe maybe, maybe some worrying. But right now, too early. Way too early. We got another thirty minutes to go in this break. Way too early. There's Alexander Alexeyev, Alex, Alexeyev, Washington Capitals, that'll go to Josh. And that's another two boxes right there. Let me just make myself a little, little extra room here. There's Lucas Carlson, Young Guns for Chicago. That'll be for Rick Thomas. Dylan Larkin, Dazzlers.
Nikita Gusev canvas. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns, Acetate. There's uh, Vitek Venecek for the Caps. Jacob Vrana for the Caps as well. Josh Proust has the Capitals. There's Alexander for the Sharks, and it'll be for Adam. Timothy Liljurgen for the Maple Leaves, that'll be for Palmer. Another one of those die cuts right there, that's for the Coyotes, Oliver Ekman Larson. Leon Dreisaitl for the Oilers. That'll be for Khalil. Coyotes, that's going to go to Spiro. And the Yotes. These cards seem to be sticking together a little bit. There's Ty uh, Dillandrea. That's for Dallas. That's going to go to Daisuke with that one. Sam Steele. And then Pierre Olivier Joseph, Young Guns. That's for the Penguins. That goes to Josh Pruce, the Penguins. There was one Al Alexis Lafreniere, Josh. There was there was the uh, but he was sharing the it was the checklist card with another uh, with another Ranger. That's technically one. It's Carey Price, Canadiens. Igor Zamula for the Flyers. Oklahoma with another touchdown. There's Alex Belzeal, Young Guns. And one of these little die cut, well, they call it clear cut foundations, both predators, no randomizer here. I don't think these are pretty common either. These will be, this one will be go to Mike Krasinski and the Nashville Predators. This one's for Montreal, that goes to Mike. Dustin Brown. Canvas for the Kings. That'll be for Spiro.
There's Alex Iafalo. The Kings. Goes to Spiro. I guess these are a little bit more than a few per... One or two per case. Looks like we need like our third or fourth one here. There's Pierre Olivier Joseph again. Young Guns, Penguins, Josh. Dylan Coughlin, that's uh, the French version here. Yunes Loops, I think. Young Guns, maybe translates to Wolves when we looked that up a second ago. Or uh, last time we did this one. There's Alexander True. True, eh? True. We've got it's a nice shot right there. Pavel Buchnevich. That canvas goes to uh, goes to the Rangers, and this goes to the Sharks. Adam. That is he what's going on here? It's a nice big leg kick. This this guy's excited or is he going over over the rail? He's going into the game? Something like that. There's Timothy Little Jurgen. Young guns for the Maple Leaves. Palmer with that one. And I guess he's telling someone what he likes about this stick. This stick? Why well, I like better than this stick? Vancouver, that'll be for Jeremy Merle. There's Ty Delandrea, Young Guns. And a Alex Ovechkin, Dazzlers. Four boxes left. Here's one. Here's two. There's Bowen Byram, Yunes Loops, Pierre Olivier Joseph, Young Guns. This uh, French variation going to Karen and the Colorado Avalanche. There you go, Karen. Nikita Gusev, another canvas. Janssen Harkins, Young Guns.
Thomas Harley Young Guns. Hit the ground. He's really killing me here. Alright, there we go. Vitaly Kravstov, Young Guns. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> me as well, Josh. Out of 100, Alex Toop for Vegas. Mikhail Burdine, Young Guns. Golden Knights numbered card going to Jeremy Merle. I don't know, no, this is true. The, the, the thrill of the chase... That stress, that it's but the, the sort of a fun sort of kind of stress. Jakob Vrana. A lot of highs and lows in, in this hobby, ladies and gentlemen. I try to be as even keel as possible. This goes to the Caps. That goes to Josh. A lot of your other teams seem to be getting a lot of cards. Just to get some more for the Rangers. There's Mark Stone for Vegas. That's Philip Broberg, Young Guns. Tyler Seguin, or Sagan, not sure, but there it is. Dallas. Dallas Dazzler for Daisuke. Oilers, that's going to be for Khalil with Edmonton. Right, and more. There's Elvis Mers Lincoln's Blue Jackets canvas. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it, that, Josh. Because you have been regularly getting your at bats in. So if you're on a cold streak, it's only a matter of time before a little hot streak starts. And then it just takes one extra hot card in the middle of that streak. Kind of make up for some coldness. There's Nazim Kadri for Karen and Colorado. That's all it takes. Jansen Harkins, Young Guns. And there's Young Guns Canvas, Alexis Lafreniere. There it is. That's what Josh Proust is looking for. Not only regular Young Guns, but these, uh, these Canvas ones are nice too. There it is. Yeah, this stuff is all about these cards right here. These Young Guns cards, Pat. In series one, no, no, the autographs are not. There's, I think, like a relic or an autograph is possible, but all we're looking for is the Young Guns cards. But, yeah, this is what we're looking. Maybe we'll find another regular one, too, but the canvases and then... The regular Young Guns cards, that's what people are holding on to. You know, you might want to get that graded. You might. There's Mikey Anderson Young Guns. You know, and then hold on to it and see how these players do. People are saying that, and I don't know too much about hockey, but a lot of people are suggesting that he can 
just go right into the league without having to go through any of the the minor league levels. So you might might see Alex Alexis Lafreniere right away. There's Matt Duchesne for Nashville. That'll go to Mike Rosinski. And there's Mikey Anderson for the Kings. I guess I default to a Kings fan. Spiro for the Kings. Far too casual to actually say it, but say that I'm a fan, but follow the Kings. Speaking of the Kings, Byfield, who was the number Kings number two pick, is looking good coming to World Junior Training Camp. He's bulked up, says Brad. He's bulked up. When was the draft? I guess I guess there's not not much else to do except for just to bulk up, I suppose. There's Alexis Lafreniere again, Young Guns. So that's just the regular Young Guns card now. Josh Pruce is saying this kid could be a 40 to 50 point scorer in his first season. And they, they've got they do they still have Capo Caco? Are they are they are, are they uh, quietly building a nice little team here? That's for the Flyers. That'll be for Mike Rosinski. And there's a Young Guns numbered card right here. That's Alexander Alexeyev. 51 out of 100. And that'll be for Josh Proust and the Capitals. So there you go. He's heating up here. There we go. So they, they, they just can't play defense, is what Josh is saying. And the Rangers are a Dolan team, right? But but like he's he doesn't care about the Rangers. Like he's very hands off of the Rangers. There's Jonathan Bernier, Detroit Red Wings. That'll be for Josh Pruce. Lucas Carlson, Chicago. That'll be for Rick. There's Vitek Vanecek, another one for Josh and the Caps. Shane Bowers, Young Guns for Colorado, Karen. Ryan Getzlaff, Ducks, Canvas for Jeremy. So give us an oh Jack read my mind Jack B reading my mind I was gonna about to ask so give the give the people who are not familiar with hockey like myself an idea of what that canvas Alexis Lafreniere Young Guns is gonna go for and Jack B says that canvas Lafreniere should go north of two hundred dollars and so that we pulled a regular one too is that about a hundred bucks then yeah Josh saying two hundred seems to be the price. And obviously, you know, grading could, could help as well. Hi, Paul. Uh, yeah, how, how much were the Rangers? What'd you pay for the Rangers, Josh? Josh got them straight up. And here are the final two boxes right here. There you go. About 400 bucks. There's Sebastian Ajo. So he's got, he's got a few hundred raw right away. I mean, he's hoping for another one or two more, but... There's Pierre Olivier Joseph, but he's planning on getting uh, getting it graded, which is which is wise, and that could easily. And if he's the player we all, you know, the analysts and fans think he's supposed to be, that card could only go go up over time. There's another canvas young guns, Pierre Olivier Joseph, for Josh Proust and the Penguins. So he gets another canvas young guns.
We got Martine Kaut for Karen, Young Guns. David Kresh key down there. Aaron Ekblad, Jersey, Florida. Joseph. Yeah, this series one stuff, Paul and everybody else. From my limited knowledge of this hockey, it's a lot like uh, a lot like tops, like series one baseball. So the young guns are almost are like the rookie cards. So this is the kind of stuff that in like when Hit Parade or Jaspies or whoever does a repack product, you know, a lot of times you'll see, you know, it'll be the graded Young Guns cards that'll be featured there. There's another Alex Lafreniere. So that's another 100 right there, pretty much. More, I guess, once the season, if he starts the season hot, even more. So you're just holding on to these guys and seeing what they do in the hockey season. Kiefer Bellows, Young Guns. And with a couple of those Alexis Lafreniere's, obviously just send all of those out for grading and then maybe one of them comes back. A PSA 10, that'd be huge. Kiefer Bellows for the Islanders. Spear with the Islanders. Yes, absolutely. We're definitely going to have Panini one on one. One and one or one on one? That's basically the basketball version of Panini one. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns. Oh. Is that a very, it has to be a variation, right? Look at that. Look at that little guy. He's just being being carried around by Alex Ovechkin. That's pretty nice. Maybe on, on, on the way to victory speech, maybe? There he is. And that goes to the Capitals. That'll be for Josh Pruess. Lucas Carlson goes to Chicago. Rick Thomas. But Paul's saying that the regular young guns go for 200. If so, that's even better. Oh, that's a street clothes variation. Well, I, I, I love it, Jack. He's got a nice pup in his arms. It's pretty great. There's Artem Zagi Dulin, Zagi Dulin, Young Guns, Carey Price Canvas. What does he look like to you? What kind of dogs does this look like to you? Like the name, Hank maybe? It looks like a Hank. An Oscar, perhaps? What would you name that dog? Ryan McLeod. I guess since he's in Ovechkin's hand, maybe Ovi would be a good name. All right, that's the final stack, final box. Good luck to everybody. Got another acetate card. Those look pretty sharp. And another uh, Joseph Wall, Young Guns. Is this guy any good? Pulled a couple for Palmer and the Maple Leaves. And that's Vincent Trocek. Acetate for Carolina. That's going to go to Mike Rosinski. I guess if you have, if you have check in your name... Like destined for hockey, right? Uh, Jonathan Quick Canvas. 
Liam Foudy for the Blue Jackets. Columbus. That's Daisuke with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Gets that, Young Guns. I mean, hopefully all these Young Guns players are good. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. All of them turning out to be perennial all-stars. There's Philip Kurshev, Chicago. That'll be for Rick Thomas. Uh, Mika Zabanyad, Zabanyad, Yed, Connor Ingram, Young Guns, Nashville. That'll be for Mike Krasinski with the Predators. The Rangers. Got Nick Robertson for the Maple Leaves, Young Guns. And another die cut right here. Clear cut foundations for the Boston Bruins. That is for Karen and the Boston Bruins. Nice. And there's Nick Robertson, blue uh, maple leaves, Palmer. Nick Suzuki canvas. That little little bit to go. Dylan Coughlin for the Vegas Golden Knights. We got Tyler Seguin for Dallas. That's going to go to Daisuke Fujiwara. Young Guns for Golden Knights. Let's see what else. And maybe one more big name. We got Rasmus Dahlin. Dahlin. For Buffalo. Buffalo! And that is that. Jordan Eberle at the end. And there you go, folks. This will go to Joseph Falsetti right here. Buffalo Sabres. And there you have it. Not a bad break at all. Here, we'll, we'll do a quick recap after I randomize, do a left-right randomizer on there. Wow, people are asking 2K for the Lafreniere Acetate card. All right, so let's flip back to this screen right here. We'll just do a quick left-right randomizer. We did the uh, box winner randomizer uh, at the beginning of the break to give Nick a head start on uh, opening the boxes, and that went to Daisuke. So congrats to you once again for uh, winning the sealed box. That'll probably ship separately from all of your other cards as well. One or the other may arrive before, uh, before the other, but I don't think it'll be in the same box. All right, so let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a three, nine times, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a ninth and final time. It'll go to the left side cards after nine times, so it'll go to all of these teams right there. All right, so there you go. Let's see. Let's see all the fun stuff that we have. These are some of the acetate cards and the canvases that I want to sort of protect right away and the the French variation right there nice acetate die cuts there's one Lafreniere two Lafreniere's three Lafreniere's out of here it's pretty nice we have the uh, checklist Lafreniere right there as well number one uh, and uh, an Ovi 
right here. That's that's the dog's name, not not Ovechkin. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for breaking. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was 2020. 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. I think I wrote Pick Your Team 1 on here for some reason. This is actually Pick Your Team 3. Pick Your Team 3. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.